Hello, this is Mr. Hop, and I want to share some memory tips with my integrated physics and chemistry class. Uh, sometimes in school you will have to remember things uh, that are kind of, you know, really specific or something like that. And I want to show you a technique for remembering just about anything you want to. It basically involves identifying what you want to remember and then breaking it up into little pieces and turning it into a story so that you can put it back in the right order. So, let's look at three examples. This is Herman the Worm. He is an inchworm. And this inchworm is famous for two reasons. Uh, the first thing is, he can write with a number two pencil. Not a regular size number two pencil because it would be much larger than him, but a number two pencil like you see a lot of boys using where they like sharpen it all the way as far as it will go into the pencil sharpener, and it's only a little stubby pencil like this. So this inchworm can actually pick this up and write with it. So he's learned a few letters and a few numbers because, you know, he's an inchworm. He doesn't have a really big brain. But the other thing he's famous for is the gold medal he won because in the inch world worm inch worm world they have a competition called the 54 inch dash which is doesn't sound like a lot but if you're an inch worm that's a long way so he is the world record holder for the 54 inch dash and since he can write with a pencil and he has he is the gold medal champion of the 54 inch dash he loves to write the number 54 everywhere so everywhere in his house he has the number 54 written everywhere in pencil and everywhere where he goes he wants to write 54 with his little stubby pencil so this should help you remember that if you want to know how many centimeters are in an inch you could look at think about Herman the worm the inch worm who can write with a number two pencil and he won a gold medal for the uh, 54 inch dash and he loves to write the number 54 everywhere so you can remember two point five four that's an example there let's look at another one this is an island it's off the coast of australia and it's called mile island because it's about a mile from the shore and there was this terrible story it's a tragedy really there were these five guys so we have billy bobby bruce Bo, and bubba and they got stranded on mile island uh they bought a boat off of Craigslist and decided to take it sailing and it sank because it was a boat they got off of Craigslist for $47. But that's beside the point. There are five guys, Billy, Bobby, Bruce, Bo, and Bubba, and they're stranded on Mile Island. And they decide, you know what, I think we should all just swim to the shore because it's just a mile away, right? So they start swimming, uh, but sad day, they ran into Lenny and Leonard, the great white sharks. We are off the coast of Australia. The odds of this happening are pretty high. So they ran into these two great white sharks. And the great white sharks being very voracious, they began eating. They ate Billy and Bubba, and then they ate Bobby and Bo. And Bruce was left, and they couldn't figure out how to decide who would get uh, Bruce. Do they need to like, cut Bruce in half and eat share and share? But they decided it would be better if one of them got it. So Lenny suggested they play rock, paper, scissors. But while he was trying to figure out how to do anything other than paper, because he only has fins, Leonard ate Bruce and then took off, and Lenny only had you know two of the guys but the, the point is there were zero people left after Lenny and Leonard finished their little meal there so the point being here is that if you think about Mile Island and you want to know how many feet are in a mile you need to remember that there were five guys stranded on the desert island and two great white sharks ate them until there were zero left five two eight zero that is the number of feet in a mile one more story this is a house with a lovely yard. Susie lives here in this house. Susie is crying. She's so sad. Poor Susie. Whatever happened? Well, and it's really strange, too, because today is Susie's birthday. She's 17 today. On her 17th birthday, she's crying in her yard. So Susie's crying in her yard on her 17th birthday. And it's even stranger because her daddy got her a Mustang GT for her birthday. So she's got this Mustang for her birthday. Why would she be crying? Well, here's what happened. She took it to the end of her block and in 
our neighborhood and she decided to see how quickly it could get up to 60 miles an hour because you know she was excited about her new sports car and unfortunately the neighbor across the street uh, is a police officer and he wrote her a ticket to remind her that you shouldn't drive 60 miles an hour in a neighborhood and that's why Susie is crying on her birthday so the, num the number you need to remember that if you see Susie standing in her yard crying you should remember that there are 1760 1760 1760 1760 that's uh, how many yards are in a mile so that's just a real quick easy little technique for remembering things so if you want to remember you something you break it into a little story uh, make it silly make it something easy to remember gross things are a good idea scary things are a good idea funny things are a good idea just break it down into pieces and make up a funny story that has a specific order and you can remember uh, you can remember information very easily i hope you find this helpful and have a good day